Hey guys, it's Jason again from Roof Talk. We're on a metal roof today that a building owner spent a fortune on and they're having a lot of problems. So we're gonna show you the difference between a custom roof and a roof that's gonna give you problems. This is something where uh, a roofer had just made it work, but the owner has spent thousands of dollars and they're looking for something that's lifetime. This is not lifetime, guys. This is a lifetime of problems, you know, not security. If you can see, there's a lot of gaps where my hand can go under, where wind can blow water under, because it's not customized. It's not built just for this building. It's built for a variety of buildings, not for this particular building. And that's the difference between custom metal work and making something fit that's not designed for that. You can see this panel should actually overlap this and it doesn't. So this is open to the environment, the wind, the water. And what they did is to combat that is they just put a sealant on it. And guys, sealants aren't lifetime. The metal may be, but not sealants. Also, if you look, this piece of metal here is so close to this rib that it's gonna hold water in here and the water's gonna get back and get into the nails or the screws and, and penetrate the building and get inside. So what we like to do at Eustace Roofing is either make this metal sit on top of this rib so the water hits and runs down here and never, never gets close to your fasteners. When you put a ridge cap on a metal roof, you wanna make that ridge cap meet the demand of that building. So whatever the pitch of the roof is, that's the angles you're gonna make on your ridge cap. On this particular building, this is a, a ridge cap that's pre-made for any building. So what the roofer did in this circumstance is they put their foot on here and made it the right slope. Uh, they also put fasteners in here that you can pull right out with your hand. These fasteners are doing no good. What's really important on a, on a ridge cap like this, if you're gonna use fasteners, you need to use a stitch screw fastener. And what that is, is as the screw goes in, it gets bigger and expands so it holds it better. And in this case, they use the same screw for every aspect of the roof and that, folks, is not the right way to do it. One of the things on something like this, this is not a bad design. Someone built this, it, it looks pretty nice, um, except for some of the rusting that we're seeing. Um, this should be painted so you don't get rust. But one of the things that we look for when we do a metal roof, again, is everything should overlap in the proper way. So water runs downhill, this is actually on top of this, where what should happen here is there should be a panel that goes over this and around this so the water runs downhill and doesn't run underneath here. What we've got is sealant is the only thing protecting us from the water going inside. And, and guys, in lifetime roofing, we don't want to rely on sealants and caulkings. We want to have a, a panel that overlaps properly so the caulking is underneath or are not exposed to the sun um, and the UV rays. And this is, this is a typical thing we see on metal roofs. This is not lifetime. Here we are with a different colored roof on a metal roof where this is, has been replaced. Um, a lot of work has been on, done on this building since the original roof was put on. And you can see the color variations in it. And that's not something you want when you put a brand new metal roof on that you spend thousands of dollars on. Now you have roofs that aren't matching, panels that don't match. Another thing that's important is the finish on the, the metal. You can get a baked on paint, you can get some that are sprayed on paint. You really want a good finish on it that doesn't fade as fast as you've seen this roof fade. But also, you don't wanna be repairing a roof and having different colors on your building that you spent thousands and thousands of dollars on. So this is another example of a building owner having to have two different colors on his roof because it wasn't done right the first time. It wasn't custom built. The time wasn't put into this roof to make it right. This is not a lifetime roof. Okay guys, if you can see here, we've got some fasteners that are deteriorating. They're already rusting. These are some issues you're gonna have with the exposed screw system on a roof. If you do a standing seam roof, you don't have any exposed screws. You don't have to worry about rusting. Now this is a cheaper option, but you can buy screws that are called lifetime screws. Screws that don't rust, um, this, this roof is only 10 years old and you can see the screws are already rusting. Once that screw rusts, you got problems, guys. It's gonna come loose, it's gonna deteriorate, the panel's gonna come loose, and you're back working again on a metal roof that was supposed to be lifetime. Also, 
the fastener has a neoprene gasket on the bottom of it and in Florida with the sun as hot as it is it can burn those gaskets away and then you can get leakage there so you really want to make a good decision when it comes to metal roofing because there's options out there that you don't have to deal with the screws which is a standing seam hidden fasten system which we showed you earlier in a video where you don't have to deal with screws but if you do go that route they make a quality screw but most of the time you don't see them on roofs because they're more expensive so sometimes when you get that bid and it's more money you really need to know the details what kind of fasteners what kind of flashing what it's not all about the panel you know there's stuff that holds the panel on that is just as crucial as the panel itself so not only do you have rusting here guys but also you have more sealant the reason there's sealant right here is because when they put this to screw in initially they missed the beam so they move the screw down and then they put sealant on there guys sealant isn't lifetime metal might be lifetime but not sealant so if you look here guys you can see the screws they're not in a straight line they're all over the place they've even got sealant everywhere all right guys we're in a different part of the roof with different issues um, one of the things that comes back to mind again like we keep repeating is customization having the equipment to do the job right one of the things that use this roofing is we have our own roll forming machine we make our own panels to length on the job here's a job where they ran short on the panel they didn't have a long enough panel so what do they do they added a little piece on the top and guys this isn't what you're paying for when you're talking about lifetime and you're putting a metal roof on you don't want hiccups in your roof like this this is another seam that didn't have to be there that's on your roof so the foam here guys is to protect you from getting insects bats rodents and, and windblown rain in the building and guys it's not doing its job it's already come loose um, you know those need to be put on with a sealant something or tucked underneath further where it can't come loose again the cap is loose not the right fastener that you want to put in a cap on a metal roof look at guys it comes right out with a turn of a hand it comes right out we got a major roof problem here um, this is something that you don't want to see when you're spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on a metal roof this is a big transition you got a valley you got a cap and you got your panels here and have you seen earlier on our roof this was pretty smooth this was all covered up right here the cap actually came through here and underneath the panel which protects you from these seams that you're going to have when the valleys come together what's interesting here is we're back to the customization stuff again this piece is built for the rake of the building it's not built to be a piece of cap and this is what you get when you don't customize a metal roof all this water is going into this area and again thank god for sealants because the building would have major major issues and it already does but it's taken more time because the sealants have blocked some of that but again sealants are not what you want protecting your your building your investment and, and that's what we have here because it's not custom built so we're going to walk down the valley we're going to show you some other cool stuff that's gone wrong we're walking down this valley and as you can see i really don't need to say much you can kind of see it from the pictures is what happened here i mean this is something that wasn't customized it's uh we're relying on sealants again we've got rusted screws i mean really honestly we've got a disaster so we'll walk down the valley because it gets better as we go so as we come down you know this valley isn't custom made for this job it's a standard piece of valley that you can put on 20 different types of roofs and they're making it work on this building except it's really not working because it's leaking so as we come down here this is the most crucial point on any building whether it be shingles metal this is where we get our lease guys and this is horrendous we got to see this there's no wall flashing in this area again it's sealants guys you have paid for sealants on your roof that's basically what this building owner has paid for is sealant the metal is actually doing nothing in this area and we've got a couple different sealants here and we've had problems in this area for the last 10 years it's leaking there should be a piece of metal under here and actually it should protrude from the corner to get the water away from here again check it out water runs downhill what do we have here we have an open piece of flashing here that sealant is protecting guys everybody knows water runs downhill so whatever you have needs to overlap in this direction and here we have the opposite so these are things that the the building owner has no idea of and they don't know why it's leaking but as you can see we're exposing that now and you can tell why it's leaking all right guys we're on a wall flashing here back to the disaster that we have and at this point you know 
the roofer's probably given up because he didn't have the equipment or the tools or the management to help him get through this job. And so he went with the next best thing other than sealant. He put tape on it, guys. We got tape protecting a $100,000 roof. This is stuff that you don't know because it's behind a wall. You write the check, you have no idea. This isn't custom work, guys. This is Home Depot. This is tape. This is what's keeping the water out of this building. Let's look up here, guys. As you notice, or maybe you can't tell, the flashing on the rakes here, it's gone. It blew off in the last windstorm because one, it wasn't the proper piece, and two, they used the wrong type of fasteners. So it's now it's just gone. We don't know where it's at. Here's another corner of the roof on the opposite side, guys. And, and the roofer has really come up with some good solutions here. They've used roofing tar, roofing cement, to, to fix an area that they don't know what to do. Um, and as many people know, roofing cement is meant for asphalt. Asphalt shingles use roofing cement, and actually the cement goes under the shingles to protect it from the UV. It's not really designed to take on a lot of UV rays from the sun, but in this case, it was designed by this typical roofer to keep the water out. Guys, this is where you really want somebody knows what they're doing. This is a disaster. It's already cracking. It's the only thing keeping the water out at this point, and it's really not, it's still leaking, is roofing tar. That's it, guys. Also, again, we got a backwards piece of flashing. It's facing up, and, and the water's just running underneath it, pouring in the building. And we can see that someone's tried to repair it. So it went from bad to worse. It went from a bad install, you know, they didn't customize this, to someone trying to fix it. And now they've got a guy that likes to use caulking and tar too. And so not only has he paid for the roof, but he's paid for a pretty obviously disaster of a repair to go with it. And so guys, at this point, this guy, his only option is, is to hire the guy that's gonna do it right at this point. And most of those guys don't wanna to touch this disaster. So start from the beginning with the roofer that has the tools and the equipment to do the job. So you don't end up with stuff like this. This roof is 10 years old. They never got a boot put on them, never been properly done. This has been sitting here for 10 years and nobody can figure out why it's leaking. This is an example of not having management. Nobody came and checked the job when the job was finished or checked it during the job. And so when we're talking about companies, you really want a company that's built on management and structure because this doesn't happen with those companies. They're, they're here checking it, making sure everything's 100%. And this is not 100%. Guys, this is not what you're paying for when you talk about a lifetime roof. So this is a good example. You can even see right here, some of the panels are a different color. So this has already been, someone's been trying to repair this area too. So several areas on this roof are different colors. The, you know, the building owner spent thousands of dollars trying to fix all these areas after he paid a fortune for the roof. So guys, back to the disaster, uh, they managed to put the proper boot on this time. But once again, they failed us. There's only four screws in this boot. It should have screws all the way around the boot. There's one there, two, three, four. These type of boots require a fastener almost every inch. And that's what keeps the neoprene on the bottom of this contacted to the metal to create a water barrier. And then they finish it off with an awesome caulking job, guys. This is not gonna keep water out. This is not something that you call lifetime. This is scary, guys. We've got a really bad installation here. And if you've been watching this video, you got a pretty good idea by now. But uh, this is something where when you say looks can be deceiving, I mean, look at this, guys. These screws are doing nothing. They're the wrong fasteners. This is the wrong piece for this rake. It doesn't fit it. It shouldn't be here. And it's leaking. And the screws never made contact with the, the plywood that's underneath. Um, these are a metal screw, so you'd really want to hit metal. And they're about an inch too short. So guys, this isn't working. This isn't lifetime, guys. This isn't what you're paying for. That's why you want to be careful when you pick a metal roofer. You want somebody that's got the equipment to do the job right, get it done the first time, and not have somebody that keeps coming back and back. Your metal warranties on roofs are only as good as the guy installing it. And this warranty doesn't look good to me, guys. It's great news. We found some of the rakes that flew off the building. Not repairable, but we found them. You know, this is bad insulation, bad screws, not a custom roof, didn't fit it properly. And so we walk around the back of the building and we can find pieces of the roof to look at now because they're on the ground. So guys, this is a good example of why you want a custom metal roof 
You don't want to just have anybody do your roof. You want them to have the right equipment, the right machines, the right screws, and the right people to do it right. <laughs>